At Makers Academy, people visit daily for interviews, meetings, and events. Sometimes, though, when a visitor arrives, the Makers Academy team member they are meeting doesn't know their guest is in the building. The visitor then ends up wandering the wrong floor or standing around and waiting on the Makers Academy team member. There's a better way. Introducing the Makers Academy Visitors app. If someone sets up a meeting with a team member at Makers Academy, they'll be invited to download our app. They type in their name and select the person they are meeting. The design is in keeping with the Makers Academy branding, clean, focused, and modern, and we were inspired by the journey that each of us has taken over the past 11 weeks. This simple, beautiful line is your guide through each page. The pre-arrival page assures you that the app will tell you where to go when you arrive and offers a handy map. When Rich arrives at Makers Academy, his phone detects the beacon in the lobby and sends him a welcome message, even if the app is closed, and tells him where to go for his meeting. There's Nikesh, working hard on the third floor. He gets a message on his phone telling him that Rich has arrived. When the meeting is over and Rich passes the beacon again, he gets another message on the app. If he has any feedback or unanswered questions, he can fill in this form and rate his experience. That information goes straight to a Google form for processing. You can see the app information hitting the form in real time, now. And that's the full experience of our app. Even though this looks like a very simple app, it's actually built on a pretty powerful backend. The interface the user interacts with is very slim. All of the data is handled by the backend, a test-driven Rails API server with technologies Makers Academy already uses. For example, the message Nikesh receives on his phone is from Slack, our internal communication system. The user feedback results are collected in Google Documents. This means the Makers Academy team can adopt the app without having to start using any new technologies. We built the app using Swift, the brand new iOS language. Instead of using a third party framework to build the app in a language we already knew, we bit the bullet and learned Swift. With under two weeks to learn the language, which behaved differently to what we were used to, tying in the beacons proved tricky, as with such a new language, the documentation was rather sparse. However, after our time at Makers Academy, we were well prepared, as we had learned how to learn. In order to create our app, we built ourselves a couple of tools to help us with the task. What you can see on screen right now is the system we used to create the beautiful line which gets drawn inside the app. To do this, we've dropped a set of markers onto the page, which are then rendered programmatically with animation. We also created the eye test, which is a high-level testing framework for iOS apps. Not having found something that would fulfill the task for us, we felt it was necessary to create our own testing framework, which uses JavaScript instructions to send messages to the user interface, such as tapping on buttons and swiping. This means we've been able to practice true test-driven development. We also had to create one other testing framework when it came to testing out the beacons. So what you can see is Richard dangling a beacon out of the window in order to make it go far enough away. We hope this simple tool will make life easier for the Makers Academy team and also for the potential new Maker student taking their first step on their developer journey.